Today is a big day. We finally got this. Finally. So yesterday, SH Figure Arts show us their No Way Home figures and today, Marvel Legends. Of course, everybody was waiting for this. Since a long, long time, this one, which most people was looking for. So I'm gonna skip the Iron Spider quick. Because this is exactly the same figure as we got. Just with the correct web lines. So what we were supposed to get before. And no surprise. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was going to be 3 pack. So yeah. Let's take a look at Toby here. First of all. I think they did the mask perfect. It's just like in the movie. It's the updated mask. I am... Not a big fan of it, honestly. I like the original mask more because it has a more of a menacing, uh, angry kind of look, and this is kind of different. But I mean, no wonder they did some changes. It's been a long time uh, since the last costume, so I'm still happy they didn't make a big change. So, going back to the figure, it is wonderful. If this is what we're gonna get, it looks great. I mean, as you can see here, this kind of uh, spider pattern is there. That's really good. And we got the sculpted web lines. Sculpted web lines was a thing that Toybiz did for a while, and I never thought we we're gonna see this again. This is great. This is great. And what can you expect more from a Toby Maguire figure? I think. So it's very nice looking silver. Same with the spider logo. I think it should be black, I thought, but metallic black, but maybe when the figure is released, it's going to look different. And you can see this picture here. Yeah, here it looks a bit more gray, black in between. So yeah, I think it's co it's the correct color they did. Same as the eye lenses here. And the body proportions are also nice. I mean, Toby looked a bit more slender, less mus mus uh, muscled, but... I think it's matching really nice. Butterfly joints looking good, and um, torso looks good. And the space between the legs are not so much, so that's good. That's often the problem with Marvel Legends, having a big gap here. So, they did it nice here. And we get wall crawling hands, finally! We get wall crawling hands with a movie Spider-Man figure in. It's a nice time to do that. And here, as you can see, the fingers, the fingertips are like sculpted in a way that grabs the wall, and which is great. We didn't get that for a while. I think, I think we never got that. Revoltech made their Spider-Man fingers like that. Revoltech Spider-Man. And here it's more open up here on the one side. I would like if both looked similar to this, but it's fine. And web shooting hands and the fist, of course, it's nice. It's great. By the way, we don't have a picture of the back of the figure yet, so I don't know how the back looks, but I don't really worry about it. I think this looks great from the side. It also looks really nice. Pinless joints. I don't know. I can't complain almost about anything here. Hasbro put everything here to, to give us this perfect looking Toby. Really nice. And next we are going to the end roof. Of course, this is uh, very good as well. I mean, like, we got the Mafex release years ago, and this looks better than that. Of course, it's been years since we got that figure. But this is this is a much cheaper figure, so I think they nailed it. The mask and everything. The baseball, um, not baseball, the basketball kind of look. Of the sculpt, you don't see it that good here with this picture somehow, um, but it's there, it's there. I think the race webbings are there as well. It's not that raised, I think, um, like not like Toybiz, of course, but it should be like this. I think it, otherwise, it looks over sculpted. Same as the texture itself, if it's too visible, it's gonna look weird it's gonna look weird with with six inch figures because because when the scale is so small it's gonna be too crowded to look at and this looks really good this looks good balance i mean you see here this spider pattern texture but not extremely 
and the web lines are not overly sculpted. That's great. And the lenses are nice, white lenses, black around. Um, spider logo looks great and goes till here and it continues as you can see. So it doesn't stop here, which is great. I hope there won't be damage to the paint, but it looks great. This hand expression is nice. It's not like a regular hand, it's just open palm. And yeah, the blue color is a bit too blue for me, my taste from this picture. But of course, this is not the final product. I like the blue here more, but of course, that's Toby McGuire. But this is kind of too bright for my taste. But let's see how it's going to end up looking. And the spider web uh, pattern is. I mean, black. I don't know if it was black in the movie. I don't remember. Toby has silver spider um, um, web, <laughs> silver webbing, um, and Andre more black. I think it shouldn't be that black. I think, but I'm not sure. We'll see. So from here, what I can see with the hand, this has more open palm here on the one side. So like Toby's. Web uh, crawling hands, both hands are different scouts, which I appreciate. Um, but this one looks more like the pizza spidey hands, actually. Uh, and this one looks like an original sculpted hand, but I'm not a fan of this one on the left side again. Same, funny, this was also the left one that I didn't like. This is too open for my taste. Should be more touching the floor, touching the wall. You can say but I mean still nice we got this so very excited for this set and price as you can see from Germany 120 euros which is kind of ex expensive of course for three figures um, probably gonna get a single release as well uh, with unmasked hats probably I can guess that to make this unmasked hats hat it's gonna take they're gonna need more time I'm glad they didn't give us, because it would maybe not look so good. So they take their time and make them looking really cool. So I, I was hoping that also it's single release, because I would like to get each of Toby and Andrev two or maybe three times. <laughs> it depends on what I'm going to do with them. One keeping in package and maybe two posing it in my shelves. But in this case... If, if you get three times, you're going to have to pay a lot of money and you, you end up with three Iron Spiders or four if you already got one. Um, I got already one, so yeah, but I don't complain. I mean, for new collectors, this is going to be good. Um, for usual collectors, it is going to be okay because nobody needs this Iron Spider, but people are going to still buy this, I mean, even with this price. And if they look this good and move well, articulate well, I think it's worth the price, actually. I mean, the price increase is sometimes making much sense. Sometimes when they give us this premium-looking figures, sometimes it's not. So, in this case, wonderful. Can't wait for this. Love you, Toby.